We are really excited to show you some of the new features in the RPG 58 version 402. Um, I'm going to demonstrate the, how to use the new presets panel. Um, this is the left hand keys, the blue keys on the RPG key. Um, there are 24 spots for your favorite presets. Um, and we're excited to announce that these presets can now be activated in both the library and the develop modules of Lightroom. So no longer are you limited to working in the library if you want to use presets. So on a Mac, well in fact why don't we demonstrate the PC side first. So on a PC, um, once you have the RPG key running, you're going to go down to your system tray and you're going to find the RPG icon and you're going to right click and you're going to click on preferences. And about five or ten seconds later the preferences panel is going to open up on your PC and it's going to look a lot like this. Um, just as a reminder, um, if you want, as you're, you want, you're going to want to adjust the sensitivity of the purple keys on your RPG key. So you just click on the buttons, and the double arrows are bigger adjustments, and the single arrows are smaller adjustments. Um, the same basic concept here in develop. Um, these numbers go from one to twenty. Not, not a real big, you know, big shocker. Uh, settings of one are small adjustments, and settings of twenty are large adjustments. But what's really exciting is the dev is the preset module. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do in the preset module, and again, this looks the same on a Mac as it does on a PC. Actually, you know what? Why don't we go to the Mac? Here we are on a Mac. The way you activate the preferences on a Mac is you, first of all, you go down to your dock, and you click on the RPG icon, and you go up here, and you click on preferences. And when you do that, about five, ten seconds later, this will open. Um, again, it looks pretty similar to what you just saw on the PC. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to select a key. The keys on the RPG key have numbers. They're numbered 1 through 24. So let's say we want to program key number 1. The first thing we have to decide is whether or not we want to activate a develop preset or a preset in either the gradient or the retouching uh, panels. So in this, for example, I'm going to do a develop preset. I'm going to click the little drop down and it's going to actually go and find all of the presets that I've either made or purchased. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and do one called something simple like uh, Kevin Kubota's Snap 1 SK. And now I'm going to go and I'm going to go to just grab the second key. And I've already got that one programmed for Old Film 3, which is again another Kubota one. And now I'm going to go to Develop and I'm going to do, I don't know, um, CPO 1. So I've just programmed uh, the first key, which is the 1, 2, and 3 presets. And those are the ones that have the 1, 2, and 3 numbers on them. Um, it automatically saves, so you don't have to save anything. All you have to do to activate it is just go ahead and close it, and then click on Lightroom. So here we are in Lightroom, and we've got the keys working. Okay, so we're going to just go ahead, and I'm going to hit that first blue key. Now remember, we're in Library, and it just grabbed that preset for me. Now let's go to Develop. I'm going to go ahead and hit Reset. Let's go to Develop, and there's a little setup you have to do in the in the Develop module on a Mac, you have to expand these preset groups so that the computer can find the preset. So here we go. Um, I just gonna When I edit with the new system, I just leave those open. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just hit number one. Boom, it just grabbed it. Maybe we'll do number three. And that's the sepia one. Um, so we're really excited to let everybody know that the preset keys now work in the library module and the develop module. Um, they also do something kind of fun, and that is that they do retouching presets. So again, I'm going to go down here to RPG. I'm going to click on Preferences. This is pretty much the same as on a Mac as it is on the PC. And I'm going to do number four now, and I'm going to say I want this one to be a gradient preset. Now, I've got some presets in my retouching and gradient panel. Mostly Kevin Kubota's, but I've got one here called one. And now let's do key five. Let's say we want this to be an adjustment brush, and we'll say Kevin Kubota's. Um, let's see here. I think he's got one here called Digifill. Oh, it's called Fill Flash. Okay. And then I'm going to say I want it to populate my brush settings because one of my complaints with uh, Lightroom is that the adjustment brush presets do not record um, the brush settings, and I find that to be frustrating. So um, you can now record those into the RPG preferences panel and as soon as you make any change it's saved. I close it again 
Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do number four. So number four, just grabbed my, just opened up my gradient panel, grabbed the O1 preset, and now I can drag it. Okay, so let's go back and let's try number five. So, okay, so that just opened up my retouching panel, grabbed Kevin Kubota's fill flash preset, populated the brush sizes as I want, and now I'm set to do a little painting. Okay, so that's uh, an introduction to the RPG preferences panel in both Mac and PC. Um, you're going to need a Java driver, which is part of the install. So if, if the preferences panel does not open for you, um, it's probably because the Java installer didn't work. Um, although I don't think that's going to be an issue for anybody. But anyhow, uh, that's it. That's all I've got to say on the matter. And watch the next video, please.